Uh, now we're going to learn the clean and jerk. Uh, similar setup to the snatch, except you have a closer grip. So you're going to be about shoulder width apart again. Roll the bar back so it's just about midfoot, just over the top of the laces. Um, I like to have my hands in a position where the, my elbows are just outside my knees. Uh, and you want to be comfortable in this full squat. If it's out here, you're not going to be able to catch it in the front rack unless you have exquisite shoulder mobility. So you want to be able to catch it right here. Uh, and same with the snatch, you are uh, over the bar still, shoulders and knees. And you want everything to be locked out. You don't want slack. If you do that, it's going to strain the elbows. Uh, you can practice pulling to the knee, still over the bar, to the hip, still slightly over the bar. And then it's also good to practice catching the bar without being in the full squat. Just pulling all the way up. Uh, being in this front rack, you have to be very comfortable. Uh, it takes a lot of shoulder and wrist mobility. As you can see, mine aren't even because uh, I had wrist surgery <laughs> uh, and it's just different for every person but once you get proficient at that you can start to practice the squat and when that's comfortable you can do a full clean now the jerk portion there's multiple options of varying dif difficulty <laughs> and uh, flexibility requirement. So when it's here, the jerk is just getting the bar overhead without pressing. It's got to be one quick motion lockout. You can do the power jerk, which is shooting your legs out. You can do a split jerk, or you can do a squat jerk if you're very flexible. I'll show you all three. So power jerk, split jerk, and then squat jerk. And with the jerk, you want to remain as vertical as possible, so you don't want to be coming down like this, you don't want to lean back, so that it's no energy lost, straight up, and then you're done.